Okay, let's see how many we're going to get in here. I have 20 rounds on the table on my workstation, so I'm going to see if I can get in this one. I got 19. I should be able to get the same amount because they're both standard uh, Glock 19 mags. So let's see how many I can get in there. Like I said, there are 20. I'm going to see if I can get 19 in. And 19 is the number we're hitting for. That's five, no problem. Ten. I hear a little bit of rattle. I guess it's the tension into the mag, trying to adjust. Let's see how we get one, get at fifteen. Rattle disappeared at 11, so that's what it is. Feel the tension in the mag tightening up. Let's see how many we can get left. They're going in right around probably that 16th, 17th round. It's going to feel a little tight, but uh, those who like, you know, who's loaded by hand, you can actually tell it's getting tighter, especially when you put these base plates on. Okay, it's getting it's getting tight, but not extremely tight when like, you know, when you're trying to put in a 30th round on a P mag, but it's firm. So I'm guaranteeing this is gonna be a little a little tough. I'll be surprised if it wouldn't be. Okay, she fought me, but no rattle. The good rack. Okay. I'm going to go hot for a minute. Okay, this is a Glock 19 I'm working on. So, I'm going to try it. No mag wheel. Let's see how it fits. Easy sit. Nice, flush, smooth. Okay. Safe direction is up. So, it looks nice. I'm going to go hot, chamber around. Finger off. Let's see if it drops. Clear. Finger in a safe location. Clear round. Okay. No racky racky. Clean. Clear. Done with that one. Okay. Now, you want to drop the slide. Squeeze the trigger. Take the mag. Okay. It seats. With a little bit of firm, you know, you have to assert with any mag when you're putting it in. You know, when you take your mag, take it, feed it, it's seated. Mag is seated. Okay. Chamber clear. Now we're going to take this tacked out one. Okay. This has a mag wheel, light, stippling, whole works, extended mag wheel release. Okay. I've had problems, and this is one of the cons with this mag. I sincerely think it does not work with every mag wheel on the market. Now, most of these mag wheels are for EDC or for everyday carry, but I don't think this base plate is going to fit like the Terran Tactical one. So once you take it, insert it, there's a problem. It's locked in, but it also locked around into the chamber with a slap rack. Now, we both know that's something you don't want. So you can make it fit. And the thing is, I don't want to make anything fit if I don't have to. So let's see if it'll go. This time, a secure grip, master grip, mag in. It goes in. Does it rack around? She's hot. And it fits. It's based. It's seated. Okay. Same way you would an administrative reload. Slide to the rear, up, mag out, and she drops free. I'm going to give this one a pass due to the fact that 
sometimes when people get these mags, they're not spending enough time on the range, and these mags work. Terran Tactical works. So I'm going to give this one a pass. The only problem I have and the only issue I have is for him to actually check the clearance on the throat of the base plate. Other than that, with us that's rocking mag well, once we seat it in, it's not going to seat, so you have to do an administrative. I'm talking about you rack that some in there, and once it's in, it's secure. Now, would you carry this EDC? Probably. For it being that shiny, that's where the video is. You can actually see how it's actually seated and feed it. It feeds well. It sits well. It fits. Clear. Mag out. No round in. Okay, guys. On this one, I'm going to get a Barracuda. A pass. Um, for the money, I'm going to tell you the MSRP. I think it's really going for like 36 bucks. That's a really good price on these base plates. I mean, when you're paying 41 and $47 for the Tanner Tactical, yeah, you're buying the name, but you're also buying quality. Same thing with this one. It's the same kind of quality, same kind of pricing, same kind of reassurance. As long as you're aware and what you're using your kit for, this base plate will work just the same as any other high-end base plate on the market. So on that one, guys, I'm going to tell you, Barracuda Tactical is a buy. That's a good one. And on that note, I'm going to slide in a few photos of what they look like by comparison. And I can green light it, like Barracuda said. It's a green light. So it's a go for EDC, guys. And on that one, I'm going to catch you guys later.